everyone, it's Mora Viva, Ashira, and Shoko. Today, I'm gonna to be reading to you one of our favorite stories called The Mooksters Mitzvah Mishaps by Hannah Nesselbaum. This week is Orchadash's Ruach Week, and today is Mr. Rogers Finding the Helper's Day. Helpers do lots of beautiful mitzvot, just like the boy in this book, the Mookster. Enjoy the story. Back in the old days, there was just me, Ari, and my little sister, Batya. Things were fine. We were both learning the mitzvot from Uncle Mendel's sing-along tapes and getting better at them every day. Kibbut Ava'im, being respectful to your father and mother, was one of our best mitzvot. For example, we always tried very hard to keep Mommy from getting lonely. Mom! 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 Ma! Mommy! Ima! And we were very careful to make sure that Daddy always got plenty of exercise. Another great mitzvah in our house was Hachnasat Orchim, welcoming guests. Come on in and play, we always said to all of our friends. And of course, we always remember to say the proper brachot before eating. In fact, we tried to eat as much as we possibly could, just so we would have more blessings to say. Every night before going to sleep, we always remember to recite the Shema as clearly, carefully, and slowly as we could. Then one day, everything changed. The day we got the Mookster. At first, he was a regular baby with a regular name, Micha. All he did back then was eat, sleep, cry, and get his yucky diapers changed. After a few days, my parents started calling him by funny nicknames. They said, we want to see which one fits. They called him Mickey, then Mookie, then it became the Mookster, and it stayed. Pretty soon, the Mookster became very curious about the mitzvah Batya and I were doing. But he really couldn't do much until he learned how to walk. Since then, life has been just one mishap after another. The Mookster must have been listening when Mommy told me about Bal Tashchit, not wasting things. I guess he thought the food in our garbage pail was a big waste, so he decided to fix that. At the end of Shabbat, when we made Havdalah, we never realized the Mookster was paying such close attention until he tried to do it all by himself on Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> One day... Daddy took the mookster to the shul with him. That's where he learned the mitzvah of putting on tefillin. And he didn't waste any time to figure out how to do it all by himself. Chesed, doing nice things for other people, is one of the mookster's favorite mitzvot. But somehow, his chesed never really helps anyone. Like when he tried to wash the dishes... <laughs> Or cheer up Batya with a big juicy kiss. Or help me with my homework. Or help mommy clean the house. We have lots of boxes in our house for tzedakah. Batya explained to the mookster that the money in the boxes is for people who are poor and hungry. So he came up with his own way to help. Mister is already getting very good at sharing. The only problem is what he shares and with whom he shares it. Whenever someone in our family catches a cold, the Mookster is the first to do the mitzvah of Bikur Cholim, visiting sick people. Of course, he knows lots of unusual ways to cheer people up. He always looking for a chance to do Hashavat Aveda, finding lost things and returning them to their owners. In fact, when things are lost in our house, the Mookster is always the first one we ask. One time, the Mookster was about to step on a bug outside, but I stopped him and explained about Sar Balechaim, not causing pain to living things. 
Now he's best friends with the animals. <laughs> Loves doing mitzvahs for the holidays. Every day he prepares for Pesach. He's really good at bedikat chametz. When the kids hide pieces of bread and daddy has to search everywhere for it. And when Pesach is finally here, the muckster searches and searches until he finds the Afi Komen. Batya and I know that daddy stays up all night on Shavuot learning Torah. But the muckster tries to wake him up almost every night just in case it's Shavuot and daddy forgot. Believe it or not, the Mookster is already starting to understand some of the mitzvot of Yom Kippur. Every Thursday night when Mommy gives us spinach with our supper, he practices fasting. Well, there is one thing I'm absolutely sure about. If the Mookster keeps the safarim open, he'll get all of those mitzvot right someday. And I hope you enjoyed this story and learned about all the different mitzvot that you can do around your house. From Moraviva, Ashira, and Shoko. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.